What's up? It's Golden Lock 157, and I'm gonna be showing you guys the Thor kit. Basically, Thor starts off with a wooden axe and a compass, and with just a simple right click of his axe, you could basically just call down lightning on you, everyone. So um, and yeah, you, you basically just set everyone on fire, do a lot of damage, and you can have a lot of fun with this since there are many ways to kill people, and sometimes yourself, as you can see there. So basically, I'm just gonna be talking about um how I would play Thor while you just watch me um fight as Thor so you maybe can get an idea of what he's good for so I use um Thor in the beginning I'll start off I'll go time wise from the beginning to the end in the beginning we start off and I grab his wooden axe and I grab some wood because you know you're you need wood is very important in Minecraft that's basic so you probably have more wood than everyone else in the in the beginning then Next, let's say, um, let, let's just put this into a real game. You start it off and you have your wood. If you want some food, you see a cow. You call down some lightning, light the cow on fire and kill it. Bam, you have your, your cooked steak. Because if you light a mob on fire and kill it while it's on fire, the, the food dropped is already cooked. So you can get food a lot easily and faster along with wood. So you can do many things with um, this kit for strate strategy rather than just um killing um so let's get back let's get into the fighting thor can basically if you hit the bottom of a tower the lightning will hit the top because it hits the first block um on it hits the highest block under the uh, block you hit so as you can see i'm just hitting these random tower spots and all the guys are falling down from the tower so that's about three guys that fell down just because of my lightning Sometimes you'll have a situation like this where you don't really have a block to actually hit, so you just have to spam it around. And the light, the thunder will be landing on him up there, the lightning. So he will be taking, um, that's really in the background. Um, he will be taking a lot of damage up there because he, he probably doesn't know what's going on. That's the reason the combat lock. Thor is, um... Very good for like surprise attacks too. You can just tail uh tail them, just back up and spam your attacks at them. Basically when you're underground, Thor is kinda useless in this kind of situation where there's water and there's no place for me to actually hit them. Because if you take apply what I said before, the lightning hits the highest block of where you put it. Like so if I hit it there, it's hitting the surface right now. So in this situation, I didn't know that, so I'm just spamming the lightning all over here trying to hit them. So then I say, you know what, F it, and I just throw my poison in lava, which is basically a guaranteed kill, since they're in this corner like that. And yeah, I won that one. I, I didn't realize that the thunder wouldn't hit them with lightning or whatever you want to call it. From, from over there, it only hits the top. There are some situations where Thor is basically useless, or unneeded. Like in this part, I didn't realize that there was a tree, so I ended up hitting the top of the tree instead of actually hitting him. So, I kind of gave my position away. I could have just came up from behind him, stuck up, and then kind of gotten an easy kill. But then he had all these snowballs and stuff, and they kind of wasted some time. Um, in situations like this, when there is a stomper, you want to kind of get away from where they're landing. Because if you're just killing where um, they're going to land, you basically just killed yourself. In this clip, I'm just basically going to not really talk about it. You're just going to watch and get an idea of how you should use Thor. Because there are many kills in this clip in both tower guys and just basic fighting. And I'm just going to talk over explaining some good advice um, for every part of the game. Like... You want to, like, line up your shots. This is very important to Thor. This could lead to your life or death. You'll see right now that, bam, he just walks straight into it. If you keep on lining up your shots like that, the, it's not only the lightning that's going to get your kills. The, th the fire, you got to understand, they're slowed. They're constantly taking more damage. Than, and then you have your lightning coming down too. That's so much damage being dealt. You have your sword. To even, you know, just come up on them while they're on fire. They probably can't see because they have all that stuff in their face. And it's going to be really hard for them to move around and everything. 
it's very important to get your opponent on fire. Even if they're in a water source, um, you can just still spam it around, it'll still hit them. If that's the lowest block, there's nothing above you. It'd be pretty cool if you hit some, some water and it like just shocked the entire pool. But that's besides the point, that's not added in. That'd be really cool though, but I don't know how they'd be able to add that. But, um, in situations where there's just a guy, he's kind of stupid, and he's just charging at you like that, you just run back and just spam your lightning, get him on fire. And the, you gotta watch out for that, what I just did. You don't want to set yourself on fire, because there's so much fire all around you that you could make one wrong step and cause your life or death. No, not your life, just your death. One wrong step and you're in the fire, and then you're pretty much an easy opponent, uh, target because you can't see, you're slow, you're taking damage. You have, uh, the other guy has a lot of advantage over you. Yeah, that's about, um, very good. Thor is a very good kid, especially for situations like this when you're fighting, um, teams and stuff. You can see I'm just kind of keeping him away while keeping an eye out for the other guys. I got the kill on him, but my trusty sword, the other guy comes out, and I understand why he wasn't using his sword. I probably, I probably would have had him anyway. And then, probably the other guy just got chickened off because of, he just saw me just freaking kill his two teammates with lightning and whatnot. I would be pretty scared too. Then he mans up and comes back. And then I fight him. And, basically, I don't even let him on fire. Yep, there it is. He just runs straight into my fire. Easy kill, tr three kills uh, without using any stew or anything. Very good uh, kit. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep saying this. He's really good for fighting teams. Like over here, you're gonna see me take on a team. So um, I really, really recommend the Thor kit. He is um, I can't like, I'm not trying to like say that my. This is just my opinion. I'm not trying to just like say Thor is the best kit you have to get him now he has his like bad sides too like I, I could tell you he um setting yourself on fire is bad also think about it this way you're spamming huge amounts of lightning around your area let's say you're in a cave and it's dark and you lose some uh, fire for light if there's guys like hunting around and they can't and they're having a hard time finding you or whatever or they're like looking for you like you're crouched around your thunder is going to give away your position or your lightning whatever you want to call it i'm gonna call it lightning now even though he's the god of thunder um your, your thunder your lightning is just going to be giving you away because it's like so much of a you know spark that's just being given off also another thing is that he isn't like i gotta say like yeah, that's actually all I could think of. I can't really think of anything else bad about him. So he is very good in all situations. All parts of the game. Early game, mid game, end game. All parts of the game. Especially at the feast where people are stacked up. Making their bases. Not really paying attention. Just like fortifying themselves. Basically, just spam your lightning all over them. And if it's made out of wood, that's even more funny. Because, you know, it's made out of wood. And you're spamming fire everywhere. So you're going to have a lot of fun playing this one. I really recommend you get it. It is on minecraftpvp.com. And if you click the Hunger Games section and the kits, I will put a link in the description. And you basically just buy it there. And yeah, you could have a lot of fun with this one. So I really hope you uh, enjoy.